Yeah, keep the strain on the rope. The solution is as radical as it is ingenious. Okay, let it come. The group has secured the backing of Rayco Products, a manufacturer of mini conveyors to the building industry. Ten of these self-contained devices were loaned by the company for a two-week period, and the group set about positioning the first of these in the winch chamber incline. It's a back-breaking exercise, but would the site generator be up to the task of driving them? Initially, loose spoilers bucketed and poured onto the conveyors by hand. Each conveyor needs one man tending to prevent heavier spoil from falling off and to ensure that loose spoil doesn't jam the mechanism. The minivairs are positioned to overlap each other, a continuous length from bottom to top. But as the minivairs snake their way beyond the winch chamber and up to the sunken road, a problem has arisen. Wastage of loose spoil is huge, and only a fraction of what is placed on the minivairs is getting to the surface at all. Much of it falling off en route and starting to present real logistic problems for the safe running of the machines. Worse still, the chalk debris is now getting much larger and potentially more dangerous for those working below. The solution is to bag the spoil before placement on the conveyors. This results in a massive productivity boost for the underground team. It means less work for those tending machines, but considerably more for those at the coal face. Okay, that just breaks the boulders up sufficient to put them into a sandbag so we can push them up the conveyor. It reduces the risk of hazard of one of those falling off the conveyor, coming back down and uh, doing some serious damage. No artefacts of any significance are found in the incline, despite the quantity of material removed, 19 cubic metres in all. Wasted spoil is slowly reclaimed, but as the team removes more and more from the bottom, so additional minivayers have to be added to the chain to cope with the depth. Nooks are cut into the sides of the incline and acros put in place to support sandbag steps, enabling the team to work further down the tunnel. With only a few minutes to go before the agreed stop time, they strike an important vein. We're through. I think we're through. Yep, here we go. Whoa. Magic. Big Does it go chamber. right through? Big chamber, going left. Right, Nick at the moment is clearing away the spoil at the entrance so that we can then go in, clear everything at the bottom and take it up and stack it in the tunnels and then we can clear out what we've got up here so that we've got a good stable incline in which we can go up and down without too much problem. All right. The thing is, we've got to get a there. Yeah.